So Pat, although it doesn't feel like it, summer's rolling around quickly now, and kind of the, the time when the vitality blast takes over. How are you, someone who's built stock through playing white ball and limited overs cricket, looking forward to something like that? Yeah, as you say, it's, uh, it's exciting that that's coming up. It feels like it comes around real quick uh, once the season starts. I think you sort of think all Red Bull, Red Bull start of the season and then before you know it, you're into T20s. So, yeah, very exciting. Looking forward to it. Mickey Arthur's brought in a couple of recruits alongside yourself, Nye Donald, Ross Whiteley, Sam Patel, players who have got real pedigree in winning tournaments, but also specialist skills that are required for white ball cricket. Is that something that you thrive on? I know uh, in the Red Bull games that we've seen so far, a couple of those variations already come out. Yeah, no, it is exciting. As you say, the, um, the guys that Mickey's brought in, uh, obviously experienced, played a lot of white ball cricket. Uh, and with Ross and Samit especially, have won a lot of white ball tournaments. So, um, yeah, I think that's exciting. The skills sort of speak for themselves. But I think, as Mickey said a couple of times, just having them guys that have, that have won stuff and know what it takes to to win these tournaments is sort of crucial to, to the next step for Derbyshire and sort of getting, getting over the line in one of these comps. Surely as a player, it must be brilliant when we get those big Derby games in the blast, big crowds on Friday nights, double headers at, at weekends. The players like yourself must really thrive on that added atmosphere and energy that a crowd can bring. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's really exciting to be sort of playing the big games, the ones that, ones that matter, matter the most. Um, and yeah, it's sort of why we sort of play. It's really exciting to play in front of big crowds and put on a put on a performance. You've played at the counter ground over the years, representing Worcestershire Rapids. How have you found that? Obviously, you claimed a, a crucial catch that saw your side through some knockout stages last year, but a, a transition over to Derbyshire this year um, in white ball cricket, there's a real talent and a, a belief that this side can do special things this year. Yeah, it's, it's always somewhere I've actually really enjoyed bowling, to be fair. So that's that's nice. There's no uh, sort of demons about coming and making it my home ground. So that's good. Um, and yeah, I think it's from experience of playing at Worcester. It's, when you play at home, you have to know your conditions really well and, you know, make it a real advantage. And if we can do that, then we'll have a real good chance of qualifying in that top four. And from there, really, it's just whoever's carrying momentum. And, you know, T20 is all about that. If you can finish the finish the group stage strong and carry momentum to the knockouts, then you've got a real good chance. You go from playing in the Bears, Bears versus Pears derby to now the East Midlands derby against our rival Knots Outlaws. You'll also experience Queen's Park against Yorkshire Vikings. Big games like that in T20 must be real enjoyment for yourself. Yeah, it is enjoyable. Um, obviously, them, them sort of games attract a bigger crowd, which is always nice. You know, we want to be packing out packing out our ground at Derby and likewise I'm sure Trent Bridge will be will be packed out for that game so that'll be really exciting go and hopefully turn them over on their own patch. Pat, thank you.